What is up guys, uh, just in the office, rocking in the chair, just done a pickup video and um, something I wanted to touch upon is TVs and why you should um, buy a decent quality brand over specs um, and what I mean is you know you can get an all singing all dancing you know 1080p TV probably I don't know probably pick like a 32 inch up for like 160 quid or something um, but you don't want to do that honestly um, and as an example here I've got a shit TV um, and it's a Goodman's yay Argos oh, fucking gashness um, and this is if I just open the properties, the screen resolution, whatever. I mean, it says here um, it's working in 1824 by 1014, um, and the reason is, I mean, it says 1920 by 1080 recommended. So you go for it, um, and if you see here, the um, you know the the desktop doesn't fit. You know, it's out of the screen. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but um, you know, right down at the bottom, you can see it's just cutting the date off there. Um, yeah, and basically, you need to drop it down to lower resolution. Um, and then, what happens is it probably won't pick it up on the camera, but you get this horrible light like, noise. Um, I think my hand would be steady enough, but you get a, a horrible edge, and uh, you can kind of see it as when I take it out of focus a bit. Um, but yeah, it's just horrible, um, and the screen is all you know murky and everything. Um, this is actually with the um, you know um, what do you call it? Da, da, da. This is with the accessibility options enabled um, so if you um, ease of access uh, so I don't want to turn on I can't find it but yeah if you turn off the uh, you know large icons and everything, I mean this is set to the largest, you literally cannot read um, what the what the things say and people may be like oh well but it's not a um, you know it's not a computer monitor it's a TV but the thing is it's actually a HDMI enabled TV um, it claims to be able to display 720p um, which is no better than um, this 1080i so it's calling it um, and yeah obviously if you connect your games console via HDMI it's just basically just going to be just a shit and the chances are you probably will cut off the edges of the screen so I just wanted to do a little video and just say um, you know rather than picking something because it's got 1080p or whatever um, but it's a shit brand um, you want to pick you know if you if you're looking for a, a say a 32 inch TV maybe look for one that's 720p but a better brand you know um, because you will get better quality picture it's not all about the specs the specs are there the, the you know the high specs 1080p all that shit it's there to sell the TV on paper um, and then they just know that you know once they've got your money they've got your money and you're just lumbered with a fucking shocking TV that's not worth wank so I just wanted to have a a few words on that I mean I had a plasma a Samsung plasma um, it was when 42 inch TVs were like the biggest you could get pretty much um, and 
I got rid of that because I wanted to get an LCD. Um, this was a few, three or four years later. Um, so I bought a 46 inch LCD um, and that was like about 400 quid um, in a sale, probably from like 700. And you still kind of got a 700 pound TV um, in comparison to the 900 pound one. You know, the quality, even though the other TV was older, the quality of everything was a lot higher. The build quality, everything was just way better um, and the picture quality wasn't much better either so um, yeah I just thought I'd have a few words on that and uh, hopefully avoid people making the mistake of buying a TV that's got all singing or dancing specs and then just turns out to be not very good mons. Alright